to our Thursday, February the 12th, 1998. We just finished the basketball season for PCS. And they're having a pizza party for the team and parents. And then after this little get together, we're headed up to University of U for the BU main men's basketball game. All the moving targets. Huh? Can't hide from No, you can run, but you can't hide. Where's Lenny, anyways? Take Daniel home. He ran. This will actually catch you in the action of eating. Act of eating. How many pieces there, Mr. Smith? <laughs> That's the that's the first one. My wife has had three. Oh, I don't think she's been putting her crust on my plate. Yeah, yeah. I don't think so. Yeah. I heard about a guy doing that. They he kept going back to the table, this back to get food. And they said, "Don't you feel embarrassed?" He said, "No, I've been telling about this for my wife." <laughs> table here has the moodiest people I've ever seen. <laughs> yes, yeah, how to eat a pizza. I'm going to 
How to eat a pizza? <laughs> Dad, are you sure? Yeah. yeah. You yeah, gotta eat before you go to the game. I will. You're gonna starve yourself. I will. No thanks. <laughs> Winding down, folks. They're talking what, 20 or 30 years ago, the circle of money. I'm just taking inventory. Inventory. People have died. <laughs>
to the Lord, my beloved over here, and I decided to, it's risky because every one of these student athletes have a special place in our heart, but we wanted to try to name a player that exemplified what we were teaching and the attitudes that we uh, believed in on and off the court, in the classroom, and when they were on the court, they were having fun. Number one criteria, they had to demonstrate that even though in the intensity, they were having fun. And in the classroom, that they were doing the very best that they could. Doesn't mean that they might have been a scholar athlete, but they were participating in both the classroom environment and in this environment for their team. So we're going to make that award presentation right now. Uh, be sensitive to a uh, parent who's back to me, and I appreciate it. Uh, that individual staying for this presentation. Receiving the 1998 certificate for the Coach's Award, Aaron Lancaster. Poor losers. <laughs> I was not going to let you slip out. We'll go through the, the certificate of recognition for the special awards. At this time, we'll call uh, each student athlete's name, whether they were a manager or a player. Both roles are very important to our team. Now, start with our managers who were. Uh, Lord willing, the sickness were in every practice themselves here doing the odd jobs, and you can't understand how much of a help that is to us. Uh, they're never on the front lines, they're not ever on the floor. They're always in the wings just doing the things that we've done. So they became and, and are very much a central part of our team. Amber Rankin, Celeste Chedra, and Becca Seth.
Okay, the eighth graders. Now, and I'd ask that you hold until we get them here again. Uh, you know, we are privileged to send them on to ninth grade for the respective high schools where they can, when asked, where did you learn how to play ball? <laughs> <laughs> the response will be, like, at PCS, of course. <laughs> okay. As I call your name, please come forward and then we'll give them a big round of applause. Philip Sloan, Nathan Norman, Carlos Gray, Aaron Lancaster, Crystal Parker, Diana Rockwell, and Angela Sedgwick. Our most improved player 
Angelo Sutton.
Thank you. 